Hey guys, how you doing? How have you been? Laducium here, playing some more Deus Ex Human Revolution, and we are heading to the clubhouse. Uh, this clubhouse, the hive. We're heading to the hive. I'm gonna go in there and find out what's up. I may very well end up killing everybody in here, or getting killed myself. Yes? No? Why won't you open? Alright, well, if, well... Okay. So I have to sneak in there every single time. Even though I came out of that door. Shouldn't I have gotten like a stamp or something? Fine. Fine. Make me do things the hard way. I'm not paying the guy a thousand credits. That's for sure. Nope. Bathroom entrance it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Close that. Um, I wonder if I should just hack in here. Or would that piss absolutely everybody off? Uh, I can't even. Alright. Who do I have to talk to? Um... This guy, the bartender. I should probably save because this is a feeling where things might end up going wrong. What can I get you? Hey, about that job. You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. What's it going to take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. I want to know what it's going to take for you to leave her alone for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? <laughs> tell you what, Guaylo. You give me a year's worth of payments and she's free. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right, fine. You You're know too what? kind of man. A fine specimen of humanity. Here's your money. Now you better leave her alone. Don't make threats you can't enforce. Ah. Uh. Yes, she's off the hook. I'll put in a good word for you with Pong. He's in his office downstairs. The guys will let you through. Okay. I might have been able to enforce those threats, but that's fine. <laughs> Where the hell's downstairs? Upstairs? Downstairs. Uh, I guess if my hacking skill was high enough, I probably could have gotten in. Oh. Uh, anything else I can steal in here besides that wine? Nope. Close. Anything else we can steal in here? Security rating 5. Nope. Never mind. All right. Uh, we good? Okay. Well, I did see the bartender. Let's go exploring some more. It's over here. Is that Tong? That is Tong. The use of neuromuscular, blah, blah, blah. Words. Money that I can steal. Anything else worth stealing in here? First and foremost, that's the most important question to ask. Is what can we swipe from this guy's office before we uh, have to talk to him? All right. You see this? And to screw it up in the fourth, I'm just flushing my money down the. Pot. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Your tongue. Hey, you only work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. I thought it was that guy, you but. Tell me who you work for. Then I like. I decide what I tell you about Van Bruegel. Does the name Seraf Industries ring any bells? Seraf Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You're still in business. Why wouldn't we? Be yeah, we stole a bunch of headlines. Biotech Corporation. You know how much headlines are worth? These days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pot. Capsule 301. Places a rat hole. 
useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Hey, don't make threats you can't enforce. That's all you get from me, Hawaii. Capsule 301. Hmm. All right. Fine. Uh, no, anything? Not right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. I could have uh, assassinated him if I wanted to. I still can. You know, I haven't changed my mind. Wonder Kai Shindian. Hmm. I don't know. He didn't yell at me. So I came down here. Let's find out what's over here. Do 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 sweet. Stuff. Uh is that a guy just sitting there? Alright. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's a dead body. All right, it's fine. Got a pocket secretary. Oh, sweet. Uh, rate of fire upgrade. Sweet. Okay, let's drop something. What do we want to upgrade with rate of fire? Uh, we'll drop some ammo for now. And we'll just use this right away. No, nope, those are rockets. There's our rate of fire. I don't think we need to improve the sniper rifle. Shotgun, maybe? Combat rifle? Uh, well, I, I guess I already did. Uh, where's our rate of fire? Alright, nice. And then pretty decent reload speed, pretty decent ammo capacity. Yeah, it's turning out to be a pretty damn good weapon. Anything else in here? It's worth taking. In here I thought that guy was just taking a nap. That was an awfully clean dead body. Taking it. <laughs> um, I was going to say, you'd expect to see blood on the floor or something if they beat the guy up. Uh, whatever. I wonder how many dead bodies I can drag with me at a time. Or if anybody will say anything. If I'm just constantly dragging a dead body with me. These are important things to find out. I feel like they could help me one day. Let's go. We'll call you Jimmy. Do 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 do. You gonna turn the other way, camera? Big bro. Doesn't seem like oh, it does turn. Alright, sweet. I guess I can't run while dragging a body with me. What's over here? We're exploring this whole area. Interesting. So there's a sewer entrance that we could have taken to get into the club. And then we took the bathroom entrance and blah blah blah. We could have snuck in and talked to that guy if we really wanted to. Now where do we need to go? We need to go to the Alice Gardens. Do I want to go through the sewers? Yeah, you know what? Let's go through the sewers. It's a place we haven't been before. Could be fun. Um, okay. <laughs> Seemed like a terrible idea. But <laughs> I had to be certain. Alright, now we know.
I also have no idea where I'm heading. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, we want to head this way. Seems like there are people down here. Maybe. Something down here. I'm heading the wrong way. That's fine. It's over here. Well, it just looks like a way up to the surface. It is. All right, sweet. Now we learn something. Let's close that up. Where we really want to be is over there, though. Right? So this way. And then this way. And then some more this direction. I'm glad the cops didn't tell these cops that I killed all those other cops because that would be embarrassing looks like I've already robbed this place uh... okay so this seems like close to where we actually started this whole adventure There, that's where we need to go Green arrow pointing, pointing the way. Good, sweet. I like it when we find uh, the place quickly, relatively quickly at least. Hmm. They look trustworthy. What's this? Alarm panel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. Alrighty. You. Look suspicious. Jensen, I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Mm, no. Um... Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove dun, dun, it. Dun, if I uh, could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, oh, I know Jesus. it's the truth. Ex 
accept. One was except this is another side quest. Look, Jensen, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here, and I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. <laughs> I should really... Ugh. No. Oh, crap. All right, fine. Okay, I'll help. What fine. Do do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Ugh. Fine. I feel like my superpowers are being wasted. Where are we going? Pod 16. 18. Our best part is doing this. To modify ocean temperature. Through a combination of ions and geothermal. Six. Now, before we get in touch with some of our attaches, that's not really. Sweet. Uh, this is what we. Uh, Evelyn, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of reading. Alright, good. Close. Where's the guy we're supposed to meet? Is he up a floor? I am Superman! Um, but, alright, I guess we gotta go up a level. Where's this asshole? Probably a bunch of stuff here to steal. Um, a little... Disappointed that I won't have time or an inclination to go through and steal everything. <laughs> I did that. All right. Knock, uh... knock. I was going to throw the thing at him. Not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Serif, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running the mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this. You tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me, especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yun Ru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Sarah was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. 
And now I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. <laughs> hey! There's a certain security hey. guy likes to dabble with the ladies. <laughs> You'll find them at the Hong Hua Hotel top floor corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Hey! Now run along, Sarif, man. And don't get too distracted. I can't tell if this guy's supposed to be Jamaican or some other nationality. Just his accent, it's weird. Anyways, let's go throw this at somebody. <laughs> um, that's right. Hi. All right, fine. <laughs> You're lucky this time. Um, I wonder if I can break the game. Yeah, it looks like they thought of this. How did you guys get killed? It wasn't when I threw that thing, was it? Maybe it was. Um, hmm. So, how they. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening, but it's funny. Uh, whoosh. All right. Apparently, I can't jump while holding a corpse. I don't think I killed them, though, did I? No, yeah, they're asleep. Good. All right. Apparently, they fall asleep if uh, a fire extinguisher explodes next to them. Let's try this experiment just to see if that's what I think happens. That guy just passed out. I don't understand. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's try that again. All right, ready? You people? All right. Boosh. Is that guy on fire? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I used all your fire extinguishers. I don't know what's going on, but it, it's hilarious. Um, anyways, okay. I wonder if I throw a box if uh, we get similar results now. Only when I seem to throw fire extinguishers. Boom. I didn't even have to hit him. That's awesome. Unfortunately, nobody has any money on him. Oh well, all right. Anything in here? Storage closet. Hello. All right. I don't think I'm supposed to be in there. All right. Let's uh, let's see a little bit of exploring in here, and then we might have to. Are you by yourself? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. Oh sweet. Uh, revolver ammo consumables. Weapon upgrades, rate of fire upgrade, that's really, really good actually. Uh, tranquilizer rifle, I already have revolver, no, but mine, gas grenade, concussion grenade, but some of this other stuff is really good. Especially the ammo, yeah, I could get behind this, alright, sweet. Um, let's do this, first of all, I'll buy some sun gun starts okay yeah I will be right 
just in case I want to uh, use those later on. Uh, what I want to do though is I want to drop some of this stuff momentarily. And then what I want to do is buy this one and oh come on. Okay. Come back anytime. Alright, fine. Um Oh, that's huge. Uh Examine, what does this do? Uh bullets explode to damage anything with a radius of a few meters for our revolver. Okay. Uh, how do I combine? Do wanna, okay, this isn't a revolver, it's a pistol. Damn it, okay. That's, that's dumb. Alright. Let's uh let's get drunk and then buy some other stuff. Because I do want the rate of fire upgrade. Yeah, I will be So we're going to combine rate of fire with we just keep upgrading our combat rifle. Could do shotgun. Pistol. I don't really want to upgrade the pistol. Alright, combat rifle it is. It's a pretty badass actually. Rate of fire, the damage isn't high, but everything else is pretty damn good. Alright, we need to get rid of some stuff. So all the alcohol I guess we can get rid of until that happens and we're good. I'm not gonna buy more ammo, screw it. But it's good to know that guy's there. Now, where do we need to go? We need to go downstairs, we need to exit out of here. And do stuff. This is interesting. Uh, all right, good. We got out of there. We may be drunk, but at least we're not as drunk as you. No, I got that wrong. <laughs> it's like I'm drunk. Uh, at least I'm not as think as you drunk I am. So we want to head to this hotel and the other quest that we had was to head to Limb Clinic which is kind of over there. All right, well, we'll do this stuff later. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, my name is Leducey, and I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!